In this video, I go over the top 10 reasons why you should move to Murfreesboro, so stay tuned. What's up, y'all? I'm Rachel Hadidzis. I'm a realtor with Crylike in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I post new videos every week about all things real estate and life in the Murfreesboro area. Murfreesboro, Tennessee has so much to offer. This is my top 10 reasons why you ought to move here. You're definitely gonna wanna stick around for number one because it's the reason that many people choose to move here in the first place. Make sure to let me know down in the comments what would be your reason for moving to Murfreesboro. Number 10, job security. We have tons of employers in the area. Amazon, for example, is really big in this area. I actually used to work there prior to getting into real estate. They have several fulfillment centers in and around the Nashville area and just recently brought in a tech hub. Other places to check out include Bridgestone, Nissan, Pillsbury, General Mills, and other major area employers like Verizon, Asurion, and State Farm. Number nine, top rated schools. Murfreesboro has some of the best schools in the state, but don't take my word for it. Head on over to greatschools.org and you can see for yourself. Full disclosure from a realtor, if you are moving to a particular home because of the school that it's zoned for, make sure your agent can verify whether it's on the edge of a school zone. Schools are rezoned constantly, like just this year, for example, and I would hate for you to move to a particular area just to have your kids go to a school that you weren't expecting. Number eight, the arts. We have a thriving local arts community from Middle Tennessee State University to the Center for the Arts. There's literally something artsy to do around here every week, from theater to visual arts. One fun thing to do when you get in the area is check out the Borough Art Crawl downtown, where you can walk from business to business and see a different local featured artist. Number seven, the nightlife. You don't have to drive all the way to Nashville to find something fun to do in the evening, whether you're out on a date or just hanging with the kids. We do have the typical movie theaters and we have some awesome local restaurants you can choose from. Some popular local restaurants include Puckett's and the Alley on Main. If you're in the local brews, I recommend you check out Hop Springs Beer Park. They often feature live music in the evenings. If you're into dancing, a popular club downtown is Whiskey Dicks. That's with an X. They feature different styles of music and you can definitely find something to get your groove on. If you're looking for a fun place to take your family in the evenings, check out Lane's Trains and Automobiles off Butler Drive. They have bowling, games, bumper cars, and more. Number six, parks and recreation. We have so many fun options that you can do on your own or with your family. In the summertime, go check out the Borough Beach for some fun in the sun and the water. In the colder months, they put an ice skating rink up over by the fountains at Gateway. We have some awesome local parks that you can check out, as well as a sprawling greenway with access points all over the city. When it's raining, that's no problem. Take your kids to the Discovery Center at Murfree Spring. It's both fun and educational. Number five, Murfreesboro offers a city life with a small town feel. We currently have over 140,000 residents within the city, but it certainly doesn't feel that way. Our little square reminds me of one from a city half its size. Downtown, we have a lot of local boutiques, coffee shops, and bakeries that you can choose from, but when you venture out, you'll see all those national brands that you know and love. So there you go, best of both worlds. Number four, the area history. Murfreesboro and the surrounding communities are rich with history. You can head on over to Stones River National Battlefield to see a site of the Civil War. Spoiler alert, the Union won. Our courthouse is actually one of the few still standing that predates the Civil War when it served as a watchtower, ballroom, and prison. Fun fact, our city served as state capital from 1819 to 1826 when it was named Cannonsburg. Still today, we have Cannonsburg Village, a pioneer village replica from the 1800s. You'll definitely want to check out the Pioneer Days Festival that they have twice a year in the fall and spring. Number three, the community. Murfreesboro is a growing and diverse community of people. 
While jerks unfortunately live in every city and state, I've found the Murfreesboro community to be one that helps each other out, smiles, and says hello. Number two, the location. Within town, you're generally 20 minutes or less from everything that you need, even though we do have hit and miss traffic at certain points of the day. Between seven and eight in the mornings and between like 4.30 and 5.30 in the evenings can be our peak traffic times. Also, we're only 30 miles southeast of Nashville, so if you need to catch a plane at the airport, you're only about a 35 minute drive in ideal traffic conditions. Traffic from Murfreesboro to Nashville can get pretty congested in the mornings between about seven and nine. So that is something to keep in mind if you do choose to live in Murfreesboro but work in Nashville like many choose to do. And if you need to visit your loved ones out of state, we're less than a day's drive from over two thirds of the country. With gas prices as low as they are right now, that's a fantastic option to have. And my number one reason for moving to Murfreesboro, the cost of living. The cost of living here is lower than other cities of the same size, and gas prices can often be lower than the surrounding cities. We're typically anywhere from 10 to 30 cents cheaper on a gallon of gas than our surrounding areas, but if you're going into Nashville, you're going to find that we're like 50 to 75 cents cheaper for a gallon. Housing and subsequently property taxes are more affordable here in Murfreesboro than places like Nashville and some of the surrounding areas. However, you'll find that Tennessee market as a whole only continues to get stronger. I made a whole other video just on the cost of living in our area and I'll link that down below. If you are moving in from out of state, you'll definitely want to know that we do have a sales tax of 9.75%, which is one of the highest in the nation. You'll want to note though that we don't have a state income tax or toll roads. Even with that higher sales tax, you're going to find that our lower property taxes coupled with no state income tax will help you save money in the long run. If you want to learn more about living in Murfreesboro, I've got a whole playlist of videos for you to check out. When you're ready to start looking at houses, my website, contact information, and social media links are in the description of all of my videos. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I post a new video. I've got so much more to tell you about life in the Murfreesboro area and beyond, so I'll see you at the next video.